Hey YouTubers! What's that? Sure, okay. Make your lane change without a turn signal, lady. That shows you're very, very smart. Smart. Not. So who's ready for this weekend, man? I know I am. I'm probably going to go to a small town called... Uh, Masamitla. So it hasn't been decided yet, but you know, we want to go. Friends, all weekend. Just a chill drink. like that this little town is where you can go drink enjoy the woods it's good it's relaxing but anywho man this past few two weeks that I've been gone have been crazy I uh, didn't, even though I have the gear, the equipment on my camera to record in the rainy season, I decided not to because it was going to be hard for me to even motovlog because traffic was crazy as hell. A lot of stupid people on the wheel, don't know how to drive in the rain, especially here in Guadalajara, man. If you ever get to ride a motorcycle in Guadalajara in the rain, rain season, be very, very, very cautious. I wish I had footage of it where I had to apply evasive maneuvers to avoid getting run over, knocked off uh, or to even avoid crashing into cars that would practically apply an emergency stop where I had to forcibly line split on the rain because if I try to stop, there was no way I would be able to stop. I would just skid straight through. And probably crash in the car in front of me. Why do I say that? Because uh, conditions of the road here are, let's say, acceptable. But, you can't see it now. There's a pothole right there. Once the rain starts, we get tons of potholes. And it takes the city quite some time to cover them up. So you gotta be evading potholes, maneuvering, and sometimes cars stop really fast just to avoid a pothole or they jump into your lane just to avoid a pothole without even checking to see if they have a car a bike next to you it's fucking dangerous as hell and also like I was saying it's something you're not able to see right now and it's the uh, oil stains on the pavement. Oil stains 
are like crazy. And what happens if you break on an oil stain? On a nutshell, you crash. So pretty much you have to be cussing it off to stop. And downshifting so it's not that abrupt. A lot of things happen. So For all those reasons, I think it would have been very difficult for me to, to monovlog because I, most of my concentration would have been set on paying more attention on the road. Excuse me, people. So, yeah. fucking dangerous. I mean, in the States, I didn't see all of that that much. I mean, you do end up seeing potholes on pavement. You do end up seeing oil stains on the road, but rare. Um, people are more aware of the vehicles around them too. I mean, you do find stupid people everywhere, stupid drivers, and it's stressful. Currently, I have my uh, rain gear on because I'm not sure if it's gonna rain. Right now, it looks pretty clear, but those clouds up there, they might let go of something. What the fuck, dude? Tailgating me? What the fuck? Keep your distance, motherfucker. So, yeah. That's why I wasn't motor vlogging during the rain. Maybe if it rains again which it will, it's raining season. I'll take a more relaxed road. There's more traffic, but more relaxed. And I'll motor vlog in the rain. So you get to see me motor vlog in the rain. Maybe I'll sing you a song. Motor vlogging in the rain. Motor vlogging in the rain. You people are stupid. The traffic cameras only launch you at 90, not 70, not 80. Anywho, also, like I said on my Facebook, I got some extra footage for you. While it wasn't raining, I attended the MotoGP Mexico event. I have some clips. Hope you like. Enjoy. See you guys. Peace. Ahora.